Alrighty, what's up everybody, Peter Gilmore here for another video on the Peter Gilmore YouTube Wrestling Channel, youtube.com slash Peter Gilmore. Thank you all for watching this video on this Monday afternoon, February the 8th, 2016. Thank you all for watching, make sure you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below, and subscribe to all my other channels. Links are all down below, friend me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and share this video all over the internet. Well... <clears throat> Today's a sad day in the world of wrestling. No, nobody died that I know of. But it was just reported a few minutes ago that Daniel Bryan, he's going to be on Raw tonight. He sent out a tweet saying, due to medical reasons, I have to be forced to retire. And uh, thanks for the memories, blah, blah, blah. Now, um, so Raw is going to be a must see tonight from um, his home state of Seattle. He lives in Aberdeen, Washington. So uh, it's gonna be like a homecoming for him, and a you know, I guess you know, a, a sad farewell to a man that uh, really revolutionized technical wrestling. Now a lot of people say that oh, Chris Benoit and you know made it better, and Owen Hart. Yes, they did, but I think Brian, when Dan, when um, Brian Danson first came into wrestling, like, ten, some odd years ago, when he first started up in Ring of Honor, uh, you know, he took that style of wrestling to a new level. You know, you could think, you could talk about AJ Styles and all the other great technical wrestlers like Neville and, you know, Rey Mysterio and countless others, but in my opinion, I think Daniel Bryan is in the, at least maybe the top five technical wrestlers of all time, in my opinion. You know, next to Owen Hart, next to Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero, Dean Malenko, Brian Pillman, God knows, you know, Roger Strong, AJ, Adam Cole, countless others I can, I can name off the top of my head, but, you know, when I saw the tweet, you know, at first I was like, hmm, this could be a swerve. This could be a work. But now everybody's on YouTube like, oh, he's great tiring. Oh, I'm so upset. You know, you don't know if it, it could be true. We don't, we, don't, we don't have to wait another five hours and ten minutes until Raw hits the air. He might be up first. I don't know when they when they're gonna do it. I I would if I was WWE, I would make him the first segment. You know, say what he has to say. Maybe he will swerve us. You know, the fans will chant, no, no. You know, and I really want Daniel Bryan to come out. You know, say you know all this shit, and then you know he kind of teases that he's not gonna do it. You know, he's like, well, if, I, if the fucking WWE doctors would have cleared me, I wouldn't be here right now. And it's true. The WWE doctors can go fuck themselves. But WWE and Vince McMahon are like, ooh, we don't want to take the risk. They might die in the ring. We have a, another Owen Hart incident. You know. But that's the price you pay when you work like a madman like Daniel Bryan was with his high-flying style. Now, I really wish, wanted him to come back, maybe do a lighter move set. You know, not all the high flying moves, you know, the diving Benoit headbutt, you know, the dive through the outside. He doesn't have to really do that. You know, to be safe on your neck. You know. I, and I think most of the other wrestlers would be work safe with him. You know, not drop him on his head like Brock Lesnar, or, you know, with an F5 or. You know, all these exploder suplexes or these back suplexes, German suplexes. They could have worked safe with Brian. You don't know that. But, like I said, I don't know if this is a work. Maybe Brian is trolling us. Who knows, but I am going to watch Raw. And if he does retire, I think he had a great career. You know... His best years were in Ring of Honor, in my opinion, when he had amazing matches with Nigel McGuinness. I was at Final Battle for his last match. Um, you know, his matches against Joe uh, 
and Kenta Hideo Tommy, who probably was never coming back. I would have loved to see that match again. Daniel Bryan versus Hideo Tommy. I would have loved to see that match. Daniel Bryan versus AJ. I would have loved to see that. Now Nakamura's coming in. I would love to see that match. Are we going to get it? Probably not. Unless you're in WWE 2K16. But. I don't know. I'm hoping, I'm praying this is a work. And Daniel Bryan comes out and says, Ha ha, I trolled you all. I'm coming back at WrestleMania or some shit like that. But, if not, I think he'll still be in the company. And now he can make babies with, with a Brie Bella. whoop dee damn do You know, Brie Bella's probably going to be gone from the company soon too. Because, basically, she's getting jobbed out. Nikki's not coming back for another year or so. If ever. I think it's time for like the Bella Twins to start, you know, focusing on their brand, like they they trying to do on Total Sluts. I mean Total Divas. But you know, maybe it's time Daniel Bryan. You know, he wants to start a family, have little American dragons running around. Then I'll probably come up to the main roster in ten years, ten fifteen years. I should say not ten years. I don't think the WWE would sign anybody that's ten years old. But it is what it is. But, once again, you know, Daniel Bryan going to be on Raw to announce his retirement. It might be a work, it might be something else, we don't know. Maybe he'll, maybe he's just retiring from WWE, and he'll probably still be around, but maybe, you never know, he'll spur, he'll spur the WWE, say, fuck the doc, fuck the WWE, you know, the docs is a bunch of fucking assholes, I'm going to Ring of Honor, I'm going to Japan, maybe Lucha Underground, you know, where his high-flying, you know, can really work well. Hell, I'd love to see him and Pentagon Jr. go at it, but then again, Pentagon Jr. will probably kill him. But that's another story for another time. Um, But you never know. We never know what's going to happen in the next five hours and change. So, he can come back on Twitter and say, ah, I just fooled you, I was just playing around. He is in Seattle, so, you know. Maybe he'll be a fast lane, maybe be a special ref or something. You never know. You never know with the WWE these days, you know. With their crappy ratings and their crappy creative and booking and storylines. This could be a whole storyline, we don't even know. But, if it's not and he is retiring, you know, it's gonna. I'm going to be a little sad because, you know... I haven't. I didn't see him when he, in his WWE run, you know. But I did see him on his last run in Ring of Honor, you know. I saw his matches with Kenta, his matches with Nigel, you know, his matches with Joe and Punk, you know. You know, he was he's just an amazing wrestler that, you know, his high flying moves caught the, got the best of him, and uh, you know, the grueling pace of the WWE, you know, you can't. You know, we can't, you know, no. shut up, before I break your neck and retire yeah. you. If anybody wants me to see, wants to see me retire Rosa, put a comment down below. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Rosa's going to give me an atomic wedgie. Ooh, I'm scared. But I digress. So, um, but, we can't determine what wrestling's gonna do. We don't know when, you know, wrestling is a pretty violent sport. You know, you know, all these, these high flyers, you know, one, one wrong move, you know, they could break their neck, they could kill themselves, hurt themselves really badly, and that's the price you pay for being a wrestler. You know. Personally, I like to be a manager so I don't get hurt a lot. But, that's just my opinion. But, uh, it is what it is, so. So I'm going to watch Raw tonight. The next five hours and change. And, uh. Hoping it's a swerve, but if not. Daniel, you had a great career. And, uh. You know, I wish you well in your future. With Brie. Or Brianna. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to. I'll say her real name. Brianna Gian, Giancola. I think that's her last name. Um. Or Brianna Danielson. If you want to get technical. Whatever we want to call it, but 
you know, maybe they want to start a family right away, you know, probably another, probably by November she'll have a kid, maybe November, December, you know, she'll be taking paternity leave and having a kid, and then, I don't know what's going to happen, but, you know, she took to Twitter and saying thank you for being a, uh, being a loving husband and being there for me, coaching me, blah, 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 so any, any, like any real wife would do. You know, even Rosa would have done that for me, but, man, it's not like, but, Daniel, if it is that time, you know, you're gonna, I hope you do an egg style, uh, going away speech, and, uh, I hope the WWE, like, the entire roster comes out, you know, and thanks you, and, uh, Bree gets in the ring and kisses you and hugs you and shit, you know, Make it a nice send-off, not some stupid thing, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. But, uh, we'll see what happens, so. Enjoy Raw tonight. We're just gonna have to wait and see, everybody. It could be a swerve, it could be a work. Maybe it won't be a work, we don't know. So, we shall see. So, that is my video. Leave me your comments and your uh, thoughts on Daniel Bryan's retirement question mark, but uh, we'll see what happens, so enjoy Raw tonight, everybody, I'll be back with my review later on tonight on the Kill Raw Demon 669 channel, so, thank you for watching, put up a lot of videos on this channel um, in the past few days, um, 1,500 video views already in the span of almost two mo um, almost three months, so, uh, you know, getting near 200 subscribers, so thank you for all the, the video views, and, um, We'll probably get hit 200 by the end of this month. 200. 2,000 by the end of this month. And I'm um, on our way to 5,000 hopefully by the summer. Or maybe 10,000 by the end of the year. We'll see. But tell your friends about this channel. The only source for your wrestling news and pay-per-view reviews. And uh, NXT reviews. Lucha Underground reviews. And, uh, and NXT reviews. So... This is the one-stop source for all your wrestling reviews, except for Raw and TNA, and that be on the Kill Demons channel. So, leave your thoughts and comments down below, and, uh, that's all I gotta say about that, so. Thank you for watching, have a great rest of your afternoon and evening, and I'll be back later tonight with my Raw review. So, thank you all for watching. Peter Gilmore signing off for P the Peter Gilmore YouTube Wrestling Channel. Peace out. Rock on. Be an American Dragon. Peace.